In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to read out a voltage sensor. For this tutorial, you'll need an Arduino, a voltage sensor, a jumper wire male to female, and I'm using three combined together, but you can also use three separate ones, and optionally, a power plug with two male to male jumper wires. I'm going to use this as the power source which we're measuring with a voltage sensor. You're looking at the schematics of a voltage sensor and as you can see it's pretty straightforward. We have the V-in which is allowed between 0 and 25 volt as shown on your, sensor uh, your voltage shield. Two resistors R1 and R2 and we have here a split of the circuit which is going to V-out and the other one is going to R2. The nice thing about this circuit is that it can divide the voltage of the input to a certain output. That's why this is called a voltage divider. There is a trick with these two resistors. They have to have a certain ratio or factor to each other, which is shown in this formula. We divide R2 by the value of R1 and R2 together. In our example, the voltage sensor is translating 0 to 25 volt into 0 to 5 volt, which is supported by our Arduino. If we directly transfer the 25 volt, we'll blow up the Arduino, and that's not what we want. On our circuit, there is a 7.5k resistor, which is R2, and a 30k resistor, which is R1. Keep in mind that the smallest of the two is the R2, and the largest is the R1. So it's very easy to just grab the voltage sensor and use it in our circuit. But if you need to translate a different voltage, for example 48 to 0 to 5 volt, then you can build your own circuit if, because it's so simple. Online there are calculators which help you to translate this 45 volt into a range of 0 to 5 volt. You can just enter the values and it will tell you which resistors to use. Feel free to fiddle around with creating your own uh, voltage shield, since if you have a 7.5k and a 30k resistor laying around, you can build basically your own voltage sensor. The circuit is pretty straightforward. There are three different pins on the voltage sensor, the S, the plus and the minus. The S is the signal pin, which is going to transfer the data. We're connecting this pin, which is the green wire, to pin number A3 on the Arduino. The plus is connected as the red wire to the 5 volt on the Arduino. The blue one, for minus, is connected to the ground on the Arduino. That's all we need to make the circuit work. Now let's have a look at the code. So let's have a look at the code. On line 18 I've written down the pin layout for the sensor, so the signal plus and minus are connected to the A3, the Vive volt and the ground. I measured some values with a multimeter, if you don't have a multimeter no problem, but it's getting more accurate if you know the exact values. So what I did, I measured the in power on the adapter, so basically the V in, so it's the output of the adapter, and I measured it on the power plug and it's 12.41 volts. The Vout on the Arduino when I connect the adapter is 2.42. So basically what I did, I measured the value on A3 on the Arduino and I measured the 5 volt on the Arduino which is 5.10 volts. So what I do to, uh, to calculate the factor is V in divided by V out which is the 12.41, the V in 2.42 dv out and the return is a factor. This factor is stored here in the code here on line 37. So the variables are on line 33 the voltage sensor pin which is the pin I've connected the sensor to v in and v out. The voltage sensor valve which is the value of the sensor which is a value between 0 and 1023. Then if we continue, we have in the setup the serial monitor setup and then the interest part is over here because 
and line 46 we start measuring the actual analog value of our voltage sensor pin and that's a value between 0 and 1023. On line 47 we're calculating the V-out, so actually the output voltage on that pin, which is the sensor value, which is a value between 0 and 1023 as described over here. We divide this by 1024 since there are 1024 possibilities, remember 0 to 1023 is 1024 possibilities, and multiply it by the value of our VCC, which is here, the Arduino input voltage. You can also measure that by multimeter, but mine is 5 volts. If you use a 3.3 volt, you can change line 38 to 3.3 volt. So now to calculate the original value of our adapter, we multiply the V out by our factor, which is on line 37, it's this one. And then we can print it to the console. I do something different than normally. I print here, serial print, print, and then print line. The difference is that print doesn't add a new line character. So now we get one line with voltage equals, then V in, the V behind it. And because this is a print line, this one on line 52 adds a new line to it. So we get a clear measurement on each line. So, if we run the code now, I've connected my adapter to the voltage plug, uh, voltage sensor, so we should be able to see the values. And the nice thing is that we now have a clear conversion between the adapter and our Arduino. So I open the serial monitor and you can see the actual voltage is kind of floating between 12.42 and 12.54. So it actually works. Now we can replace the adapter with a different one since we now know the factor. We can basically measure all the uh, voltages we want or voltage, uh, power sources we want as long as you stay below 25 volts. The exact factor might di uh, differ between your sensor and my sensor. So therefore I measure both the values as shown in the code up here with my multimeter to have and as accurate as possible measurement. However, if you don't have these values, you can look them up on the internet or you can just use my values. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment sections and I try to answer them as soon as possible. The link to the course material you also find in the video description and I see you in the next video.